first of all, I think there's a tremendous link between Lourdes and many families here. People who've been to Lourdes, people who have helped at Lourdes, and gone, hello there. And it is fantastic. There's a great sense of joy here. The bells are ringing. And I feel that people are being drawn here. They're being drawn here looking for hope, looking for healing. The great messages of Lourdes that Jesus is with us, that our faith is alive, it is real, and it's there for us in troubled times. So I really get that sense here during these days. And for young people, what's the relevance of the uh, history of Lourdes in 1858 to the modern day? Well, first of all, Bernadette was young. She was a young girl, 14 years old, struggling, maybe couldn't read or write. Somebody who lived in a family which was struggling with poverty and hardship. And yet she was the one that Our Lady chose. And I think the message for our young people is that God chooses you. He chooses you to bring goodness and hope and love into the world. And it's beautiful to see so many young children coming from our schools and teenagers also and families coming to share in the joy of this moment. And can you say something about the hope that people so evidently have as they come into the church today, their, their, their faces of expectancy as they venerate the relics? Yeah, I'm very conscious that Pope Francis is calling a jubilee of hope for next year, encouraging us all to be pilgrims of hope in the world. And of course, anyone who goes to Lourdes is a pilgrim of hope. They bring with them their burdens, their struggles, their problems, but they return home in some way enriched. I know there's a lot of actual, physical, unexplicable healings happen in Lourdes, but there are also many people who come back saying, I'm glad I did that. And I see that same expectation here as people are visiting the relics of St. Bernadette. Thank you very much indeed.